But at this hour, the official number of people in Nueces County testing positive for the coronavirus stands at 18. Two more have tested positive in San Patricio County from before and word from the City County Health District in Nueces County is that 39 more tests were conducted today at the county's drive through testing sites. The results we think are not back yet, although the two additional cases may be from that collection of samples. Just not sure about that at this point. We do know more though about the positive cases that we have known about for the past couple of days, the 14 positive cases. Our Taylor Alanis joins us tonight with the very latest update that we have. Taylor? Joe, today we are learning that one of those 18 uh, testing positive in Nueces County is an employee at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. University officials saying this employee has not been on campus since March 12th, but they did have direct contact with another employee outside of work. Employees in the impacted departments have been notified according to the university. Now yesterday we found out another one of those cases was out of Robstown, and today we know two others are from Port Aransas. Port Aransas Mayor Charles Bouillon saying both those cases are travel related, as are most of the ones in Nuestas County. Again, there are now 18 positive coronavirus cases in Nuestas County, that number coming down moments ago. But here, the City County Health Department saying one of the 14 or 18 positive cases was caught from person to person contact. So far, none are community spread, which is some good news. Here's a look at the age group breakdown with the major coming from the group of 40 to 49 year olds, just over 30%. The next age group with the most positive cases is between the ages of 60 and 69, also 30%. Yesterday, we learned San Patricio County has two COVID-19 cases. Both are travel related and are in quarantine. One of those cases was a student from McLennan County in the Waco area who is back in San Patricio County. San Pat officials saying they conducted three more tests today, resulting in no new cases.